Ahadi, this is the Information Technology and General Services Committee. And uh, thank you to Mr. Buscayano. I have to apologize for my arrival. Uh, we, uh, this is Tuesday, February the 12th, and it is about 9.25. And uh, Madam Clerk, tell me which items we can take on consent. Good morning, Madam Chair. We can take items 6 through 14 on consent. Okay, and that'll be with objection. So that leaves, let's see, any items that have uh, been requested uh, to, for continuance? No continuance? Um, okay. I don't believe so. Okay, great. Well, then let's start with number one. On item one, uh, what you have before you is a motion by Scano Coretz. This has to do with an instruction for the Department of General Services to negotiate and execute a lease within 30 days for suites 306 and 308 at 544 North Avalon Boulevard, located in the city of Wilmington. Uh, this will be for the 64th California State Assembly District Field Office, and it will be for the amount of $1 per fiscal year. Okay, so uh, now... You take this one, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. You might want to sure. talk about the striking the language for the yes. Thank yeah. you, Madam Chair, and Great. thank you for hearing this motion today. This was in response to the redistricting of the state assembly districts, and now we have a uh, assembly member, uh, Isidore Hall, and the 64th assembly district now um, represents parts of my district, including Wilmington, which is within the council of my di council district. And in prior years, the city's rented office space, from what I was told, in the Wilmington Municipal Building on Avalon. Uh, to Congresswoman Jane Harmon, and my office was under the impression that uh, the rate was set for a dollar per year, pursuant to a motion introduced by then Janet, uh, Councilwoman Janice Hahn in 2003. Now, the actual lease negotiated by GSD was for market rate rent, and, and in the interest of fairness, <laughs> compliance with the city's financial policies and recognizing the city is facing a projected $216 million deficit in this next fiscal year, where we can't afford to let a single dollar go uncollected. So I, I know, Madam Chair, I believe that um, I'd like to uh, amend this motion to strike um, the phrase for the amount of one dollar per fiscal year, and that the, this committee approved it as amended. Okay. And this, just for clarification, have they they've been advised that they will not be able to have this office for a dollar a year? Right. I, I'm in contact with Assembly Member Hall okay. and. Have they agreed to a rate uh, that they're going to pay yet? Um, not just yet. And um, we, uh, negotiations will, will continue um, after this, this motion is, is approved by, by council. And we'll let them know. I believe it's $1.50 per square foot. That's correct. Melody McCormick with GSD Real Estate Services. We are in discussions with the facilities management group for the state. Um, and um, we will discuss with them the $1.50 square foot. That would also include all utilities, custodial, and security. Um, this is consistent um, with how the city and the state uh, rent space from each other um, at other facilities. Um, we pay the state for office space that we rent from them, and they pay us for office space that they rent from us. And they pay market rate. Correct. Okay. Correct. Both ways. We pay market rate in their facilities. They pay market rate in ours. Okay, fine. You want to make a motion to approve it? A motion, yes. If, if we can approve the motion as amended. Second it. Thank you. All right, number two. Okay, and item two, it, it is also a motion from Council Member Buscaino, seconded by, by you, Council One Perry. Mm -hmm. And this has to do with an instruction to the General Services Department to work with the Department of Recreation and Parks, the City Attorney, and the Chief Legislative Analyst, and to report back in 30 days and the feasibility of acquiring the property located at 406 North Gaffey Street. This will be for the development of Phase 2 at the Gaffey Welcome Park. So, Madam Chair, thank you again um, for hearing this, this item um, so quickly. And this is the, the, the former Shell gas station, as we all know it, in, in the San Pedro area. That's been sitting vacant for a number of years. And a number of community stakeholders, neighborhood council members, are anxious to move forward on this project to beautify uh, Gaffey, um, which is much needed. And uh, this project would all also serve to beautify a major intersection of San Pedro, um, an intersection of thousands of, of folks, residents, and visitors see every day on their way in and out of San Pedro. 
And I understand that the city was supposed to acquire the property, but with the uh, CR, CRA uh, demise, demise <laughs> <laughs> as we often hear, uh, this is not going to happen. So as we know, because time is of essence, I'd like to ask that we continue this motion for 30 days and allow the departments to time to meet and come back with us to uh, back to us with the report. And the reformable request, Madam Chair, is then to instruct GSD uh, with the assistance of Rec and Parks, City Attorney, and CLA to report back in 30 days with recommendations and next steps on the feasibility of acquiring this property at 406 North Gaffey Street. I understand that we've been continue to be in constant communication with the property owner. We uh, we're looking at also the market rate and how much this property is worth. And he has come to us indicating that, you know, if we would have bought it years ago, it would have been worth more. But today, this is what we have before us. Well, happy to be supportive of you in moving this forward. I've seen that corner. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Well, most, uh, to, uh, move to approve. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So just for the record, um, what you're doing is asking the department to come back with a written report containing the recommendations before moving it forward to council. Yes. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Is 30 days okay? We're just yes, 30 days. Okay. Great. That's thank fine. you. Okay. Number three. On item three, the municipal, I'm sorry, municipal facilities committee has submitted a written report. This is in response to motion outer concourse. It has to do with the negotiation and execution of a lease agreement with the nonprofit El Nido Family Centers. This will be for office space within the Pacoma Neighborhood City Hall, located at 13520 Danas Boulevard. This is also for one, $1 a year in exchange for the community benefit um, provided by, uh, I'm sorry, to the Pacoma and the San Fernando Valley area by this particular agency. Okay, now I realize this, this is a nonprofit organization, and so there is a different uh, uh, yes, policy approach to nonprofits. So, is this within keeping uh, of our uh, City of Los Angeles nonprofit uh, lease policy uh, yes, per square is. foot? Yes, it is. Okay, or, well, not per square foot. It's yeah. A dollar a year. Or so. A dollar a year. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, and then uh, they are going to be responsible for their own tenant improvements? Yes. He Yes, they, they are Jackie Vernon Wagner with the CAO. Yes, uh, El Nido will be responsible for its own tenant improvements, but I imagine that I understand that there will be minimum tenant improvements involved because the office space is already built out. Okay, so they'll be responsible for their maintenance, their the utilities, their janitorial, and their security and their costs. Security. Yes, oh. yes, ma'am. All right. No wanna... questions. Okay, let's move to approve that one. That's number three. Uh, number four is next. An item. Four, the Department of General Services has submitted a report, and this has to do with a request for approval to negotiate and execute a new license agreement. This will be with Douglas Emmett Realty Fund for 18 rooftop radio antenna and related equipment uh, located at 100 Wilshire Boulevard in the city of Santa Monica. Okay. Want to give us a brief report on this, on number four? Okay, yeah, this new license agreement is going to add six additional three-foot antenna that are utilized by ITA um, for a total of 18 rooftop antenna on the site. Um, there is not going to be an impact to the leasing account this year. Um, however, there will have a $20,000 increase to the leasing account for next year, and we're in the process of evaluating that leasing account to determine whether or not we can absorb that cost. So what do you need from us today? Approval on the report. It's already been through MFC. Okay. And then what was the MS, M, MFC? The MFC approved it. Okay. Uh, I don't have any questions on it. Do you have any questions? I do, uh, Madam Chair. Thank you. Um, I understand there's a shortfall of $20,000? This particular um, agreement will add $20,000 to the cost of a leasing account. We will obviously... Um, in our review of the leasing account for next fiscal year, take into consideration any new leases where we are having re revenue generated back to the city, um, and then also leases that we're putting in place that have increases to the city. So we'll be able to provide information once that analysis is done on um, whether or not we'll need to ask for additional funds next fiscal year. So th will the analysis be done prior to the, uh, the lease expires? The, the analysis will be done within the next couple of months, yes. Okay, great. 
And then I, my only concern, Madam Chair, is, mm -hmm. is that we want to make sure that we don't have any emergency communications interrupted. No, we will not. No, this, this lease will go forward. We will find a way to pay for it. For example, we have another item on the agenda here where we're actually going to be um, receiving revenue um, that could potentially offset this. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Move to approve. Are you talking about item five? Uh, we're talking about the uh, credit union lease. Which? Item, item six. Okay, item six. Which has already been yeah, approved already in consent. Approved. Okay. All right. All right. All right, let's go to item five then. Before we move forward, uh, you are recommending approval of yes, item I'm four. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. Okay, thank I'm, you. I should have jumped the gun there on you. <laughs> okay. On item five, uh, the Department of General Services has submitted a report, and it has to do with approval to negotiate and execute a new license agreement. This will be with 100 Towers LLC mm -hmm. for a rooftop communications room, suite, four, oh, sorry, suite 4410, and four rooftop radio antenna and other related equipment located at 2049 Century Park East. This is in the city of Los Angeles. Okay, and these uh, license agreements are used to support police communications for LAPD. This is going to add two additional six-foot antenna um, that are um, at the request of ITA. And the cost of the license agreement, um, would build, the cost will be sufficient for this fiscal year in terms of budget. Um, we've got sufficient funds in the budget for next fiscal year to cover the okay, cost so of this 20, lease. 2013 to 2014, right. how, exactly. you gonna, how are you going to figure out how to pay for your um, The budget for the lease is still 51914 which is what it's currently budgeted at this fiscal year. Yeah, but what are you going to do about the utilities? Because you're not sure about the cost of the utilities at this time. Mm. Um, yeah, we, we would have to take a look at that in the utilities account. Okay. Uh, it's not a significant impact to the utilities because we're adding, we're only adding two additional antenna. So uh, let's see, 40. Do you know what the utilities were prior fiscal year? Uh, no, I do not. I don't have that information with me. Hmm. Um, just, uh, Stephanie, make a note and why don't we just see if we can just work with uh, her offline uh, just to get that determination. And okay. I don't want to hold this up because it does need to be done. I just want to make sure you've got the utility costs covered, too. Okay. Okay? Thank you. All right, so I'll move to approve that. Thank you. And that concludes the agenda. There is no public comment. No public comment, no cards, no body. Uh, so uh, just for the record, this is the period of the uh, committee where uh, those wishing to comment on items that are not on the agenda can come forward. But since there's no one here, uh, we will adjourn the meeting. Thank Great. you very much. Thank you.